The Southern Shoalhaven um, was where the fires originated. They were widespread and the impact on the rural areas was substantial and significant. Much of our infrastructure was, was lost. Stockyards, hay shed, and it took away the pasture. It's been a very tough 12 months. We're talking with landowners and engaging with them to provide them with information on the way that the colonising weeds are coming in after the fires and they're providing nutrient which is helping to buffer the effect of the fire on the soil and the loss of the humus layer. People got to realise that the weeds grow quicker than the natives but at the moment if we don't get on top of it straight away after the fire then the natives can't regenerate the land. First of all you've got to be aware of the weeds that are on the property and at the moment I'm slashing to uh, reduce that. That also enables you to see what's actually growing in the area. We need to manage uh, weeds in the Shoalhaven to protect our primary producers, to protect our tourism and manage the serious impact that some weeds have on human health. The whole process is about awareness and educating the community and the residents on how we deal with the weeds. It's really worthwhile looking at our website for more information. There are links to 10 weed management plans that have been developed for the main priority weeds within the local government area. If there's any weeds that you don't recognise or you're concerned about, please contact us because we can come down and we can advise you of what weeds you may have on your property and what strategy you can implement to control those weeds. It's everybody's responsibility to understand the, the, the problems and be aware of the management strategy. Weed Biosecurity is about the community and council working together to achieve a common goal, which is to reduce the weeds and protect our environment across the board.